Hello, my name is Xin Shi Cai. I am a vascular neurologist in National Taiwan University Hospital. I'm here to share with you our recent research work published in Brain Communications that discuss about cerebral tau pathology in cerebral amyloid andropathy. Cerebral amyloid andropathy, CAA, and Alzheimer's disease are both age-related degenerative disorders that involve cerebral beta-amyloid protein depositions in the vessel walls and brain parenchyma. CAA is typically characterized with hemorrhagic lesions, such as low bar intracerebral hemorrhage and cerebral microbleeds. While in Alzheimer's disease, the histopathological hallmark includes parenchymal A-beta and neurofibrillary tau tangos. The shared role of A-beta in both CA and Alzheimer's disease results in infrequent overlap between these two disorders and represents distinct pathways leading to neurodegeneration, including vascular dysfunction and neuronal pathology, respectively. However, tau pathologies have been rarely investigated in CAA. There are a few literature showing tau pathology could be associated with clinical memory impairment in CAA, Data from CSF biomarkers also suggested a marginal increased PTAL levels in CAA compared to controls. Further evidence from pathological study indicates pervascular tau neurites could be present around amyloid-laden vessels. From this evidence, we hypothesized that CAA has a higher frequency of AD-related tau pathology than other sporadic SVDs. We enrolled patients survived after spontaneous ICH and categorized them as probable CAA or hypertensive small vessel disease using current MRI diagnostic criteria. All patients received amyloid and tau scans to measure the regional and global amyloid and tau burdens. We particularly focused on the tau pathology in BRAC stage ROIs, which are regions considered sensitive for ID related tau accumulation. Here shows the representative neuroimaging findings in our study cohort. Patients of CAA in general shows higher trace retention on both amyloid and tau pad scans. When we compare the cerebral tau burden between CAA and hypertensive small vessel disease, higher tracer uptake was observed in the inferior temporal lobes and all BRAC stage ROIs in patients with CAA. After age adjustment, the difference remained significant in the limbic region and remained in strong trend in the inferior temporal lobe. We next investigated the relationship between CA-related vascular markers and tau burden. In our univariable model, both total cortical superficial siderosis score or the summary CA score significantly correlates to the amount of tau depositions. The correlation remains significant in further models adjusted for potential confounders. This finding suggests tau accumulates with the severity of vascular injuries in CAA. We also investigate the diagnostic values of these vascular markers in predicting tau pathology in CAA. Both cortical superficial siderosis score or CAA score could provide good diagnostic accuracy with AUC more than 0.8. Lastly, to understand the clinical significance of tau pathology in CAA, we assessed the relationship between the tau burden and neurodegeneration markers, including global cognitive performance and hippocampus volume. We can see here tau burden is associated with lower MMSE score and reduced hippocampus volume, and its correlation is independent to age, educational years, and CA score. Overall, our findings indicate hyperphosphorylated tau protein accumulates in severe sporadic CAA and imply that tau pathology causes neurodegeneration independent of vascular pathology. Our results also highlight that intensive effort is essential to characterize the entire AD CAA spectrum in aging individuals and in the ICH population in order to investigate how these two closely related but also independent amyloid pathologies influence the clinical outcomes of patients. Thank you for your interest of our study. If you have further questions or comments, feel free to contact us.